Now what's a man got to do to get that sort of attention from you? If that's the sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun. But I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Good afternoon, Miss Croft. My research department has recently turned its focus to the study of ancient artifacts, and I'm led to believe that, with the right incentive, you're just the woman to find them for me. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before, with your father. You both spent years searching for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location of Qualopec's tomb. You found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Vilcabamba continues to elude us. And my insistence that we press on in spite of these failures has morale low. I suspect Jenkins to be the author of this sedition. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation upon which all known civilizations were built. Increasingly, I find it is Lara alone who remains untainted by academic dogma and open-minded enough to see this truth. Here sits the god King Qualipec, one of the Triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the Skeel, diviners of its knowledge, sacred rulers of Atlantis.
I'd love to join you, but I forgot my trucks. Why am I not surprised? You got your job, I got mine. I'll take it from here. I hope Natla sent you here with more than that shotgun. Don't sweat it, kitten. I prefer a more hands-on approach. <laughs> There's only one piece of the ski on. Where's the rest of it? Give me a minute. I'm thinking. <sighs> Woohoo! Makes no difference to me. Pierre's probably already found his piece. Pierre Dupont? Where? Now that, I don't know. All right. I'm convinced. Damn, you really had me going there. Francis Folly. Quiet new evidence that leads me to believe it is the Skion itself that is in some strange way a vast library of information to rival even Alexandria. I am now convinced that if I can obtain it, I will finally discover what happened to my beloved Amelia. Oh, Pierre, you litterbug. I suppose you're more of a dog person. Natla doesn't honor her contracts, Pierre. I'd move on if I were you. No, mademoiselle. Natla and I understand each other. I find things for her, and she rewards me handsomely. But you see the very thing she does. That is why you are not trusted. I trust my instincts. And that is why you are in second place. I am a professional, mademoiselle. I focus on the job, and I get paid. There's more to life than money, Pierre. This isn't life, mademoiselle. It's business. Your compulsion prevents you from seeing the difference. It hasn't prevented me from getting a piece of the skill. How's business for you? Touché. So then, why don't we see whose compulsion gets them the next piece? The God King Tihokan, 
one of the Triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the Skeel, leader of the Chosen after the great betrayal caused Atlantis to be lost beneath the waves. Yours are going to cost you both pieces at the Skion. That's not a price I'm prepared to pay. Don't be absurd. No job is worth dying for. Yes, it is. Everything must burn. 
Only then can the Seventh Age begin. Choose a path to madness. I wash my hands for your treachery. For using the knowledge of the Skion to unleash our armies against us. I expel you forever from the secret order of the Three. And condemn you to shame in the frozen limbo of eternity. It cannot be stopped. The wheels of Cathar are already in motion. Doom will find you both. I rise from the dust of your bones to finish what I start! was you. You were the Queen of Atlantis. Once. And the Skion holds its history. It holds far <coughs> more than that. All the knowledge of the ancients. Things none of you could even comprehend. What is the Seventh Age? How far are you willing to go to find out, Lara? Not far enough, I'm afraid. Kill her quickly. We have work to do. I'm gonna enjoy this. Enjoy oh. watching. I'm cutting. Sorry, darling. This is the end of the line. Just hand it over, Larson. This has nothing to do with you. <laughs> What's it got to do with you? The ski on belongs to Natla. Face it, you got no business here. I don't have time for this. Get out of the way, or you die. <laughs> what you gonna do, shoot me? Come on, Lyra. I just work here. Now, I know how bad you want this, but I can't let you pass. And we both know you're not going to kill me for it. That's just not who you are. I'm not who you think I am.
I was hoping you'd show up. I want to make you scream. Unless you want to end up like Larson. Get out of my way. It's so good, isn't it? Gets even better. You can't explain it to people. They have to feel it. Girl, you gotta be out of your mind! There's nowhere left to go but down. You're rebuilding the army of Atlantis. This pyramid breeds far more than the soldiers you faced. With the Skion, I now have the means to create anything I desire. What is it you desire, Natla? It takes three to rule. Tihokan and Qualopec were too weak to destroy what stands in the way of the Seventh Age. But you have the strength to claim this seat beside me. Immortality has its price. But what are a few lives to sacrifice for your dreams? This is madness. This is what you've been searching for. The answers you've sought your entire life are within the Skion. Everything you've done has led you to this place. You're here because you belong here, Lara. That's who you are. I'm sorry, Father.
moment. Do you realize what you've done? That blood on your hands. Do you believe it was spilled for the good of all man? For your own selfish desire? Look inside yourself, Lara. Your heart is as black as mine. Another. But you, Lara, you have lost everything! <laughs> 